Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous on the PlayStation 4. Now over the past few weeks I've seen a number of comments in the comment section to the videos asking how to get a permit to the solar system. Of course that's the home of Earth and you can see what permits you already have over on the status screen here. If we go across, uh, there we go, we've got no permits at all at the moment. We can get region permits and you can get system permits. Now there's a number of systems that are locked within the game, in fact there's a number of regions that are locked within the game. The regions, no one knows what's actually in them at the moment, uh, they're locked. Some people suspect it's for future content, other people think it's perhaps where the aliens reside, such as the Thargoids, and there's a massive permit locked region around Barnard's Loop. But what we're more interested in for today's videos is the system permits, and like you can see I've got none at the moment. There's a few systems of interest. One is the Founders Well, that many people like to get to. And the other, of course, is Sold, the one I mentioned just now. And if we have a look here, we come to uh, the map, and we'll have a quick look. Let's have a look at Sold. I don't know how far away it is from my current location. We can see Sold is controlled by Zachary Hudson, who, of course, is the president of the Federation. And down the bottom there, it says requires a soul system permit but we can have a look at what's in the soul system because our, uh, our ship's computer does contain data for that system so when this loads up we'll have a quick look we know what to expect there of course because we've got all the uh, regular system, regular planets mercury venus earth mars and so on what many people like to have a look at is this is the home world of humanity mars is terraformed nice place to visit and we've got a whole bunch of stations here. Some of them are named after well-known historical figures. Now some of the moons here are landable. The moons of both uh, Jupiter and Saturn are landable, as are the moons of Uranus. Ariel, I recommend that you go to. It's one of the best moons in the game. It has some fantastic uh, ridges and craters to go around. Not craters, canyons rather very very nice moon to uh, go and have a look around I'm a bit surprised actually that there's not more uh, moons like this in the game they can be quite difficult to actually find considering that's a rocky body as well and there's triton which needs a permit in and of itself to land on that's why it's got the red ring around it so we don't know yet why that's uh, permit locked But there we go. And of course, we've got some other planetary bodies out beyond Pluto. Some of them which have now been detected by uh, NASA and other agencies. And some which people believe are actually out there. For example, Persephone. Now that's the name given to the ninth world in our, planet, in our solar system. The one that NASA and other agencies have recently uh, not quite discovered. But they suspect that is there due to gravitational anomalies. But look at the distance from the sun this one has got an ecliptic orbit and its orbit is in the uh, many thousands of years but yeah in the game we can actually go to that and it's a very very large body you can see it's many times the mass of earth and has a radius of what's that 14,000 kilometers so yeah quite a large world not the largest but large enough anyway I'm rambling on the question we want is how do we get the permit to a soul now this is tied up with the Federation rank. The Federation is one of the three superpowers in the game and we can rank with two of them or three of them. You know what, I can't actually remember if we can rank with the Empire. No, we can't rank with the Alliance. So we can rank with the Federation and the Empire. Now this serves two purposes. It allows us to gain permits to certain systems. We can get permits to sold with the Federation and with the Empire we can get permits to their uh, home star system but it also allows us to unlock certain ships for example with the Federation we may want to get the Federal drop ship or the Federal assault ship or we may want to get the Federal Corvette the Federal Corvette is one of the top tiered ships with the Empire we might want to get access to the Imperial Courier the Imperial Clipper or the Imperial Cutter Again, some top-tiered ships there, but you need to get a high rank with them. To get rank then, we need to do missions or other activities 
for the chosen faction. So for the uh, for the Federation, we need to rank up to uh, Petty Officer to get the Soul Permit. And basically, at the moment, my rank is on None. The first rank is Recruit. After that, we have Cadet. Then we have Midshipman. And after that, we have Petty Officer. So if we have a look through some of the missions here, what we want is to do missions for uh, factions that have got an alliance with a superpower or an affiliation with a superpower. And over on the top right of the Democrats here of LTT4961, we can see their affiliation is with the Federation. And as we go down, we can see that these guys don't have any affiliation at all. So as you come across some uh, stations, you'll find that multiple factions there have multiple different affiliations. So it's not impossible to go to a station where you can f pick up missions for the Federation as well as the Empire at the same time. It greatly depends. So here we're going to collect some uh, missions and well, it depends on what ship you've got, what type of ones you want to do. I'm not sure actually if you can rank up using passenger missions. Let's have a look at the passenger lounge just to be sure. And yes, look. Again, the Democrats of LTT4961 are offering a nice passenger mission here for a reasonable amount of money. We can't actually do that because I've not got my passenger ship here. But again, they're affiliated with the Federation. So whilst I talk, I'm going to take one of these missions. We do a boom time delivery. Six units of non-lethal weapons. 13 light years. We can get there pretty easy. Again, do pay attention to the missions here. You've probably done many of them by now. Uh, it says hostile ship. Hostile ships may be set against you, and mission failure could lead to a fine. But we're going to do that. Let's have a look over on the transactions tab. And we're booking at the uh, location that we want to head to. Assuming, of course, that we can get there. Right, so when we've actually completed enough missions, the little progress bar will start to fill up. And you, could, you saw just now that my Federation rank is actually on 50% towards the next rank. We'll have a look at that again in just a second. When it reaches 100%, it won't automatically fold over to the next rank up. What happens is that you need to look out for a rank mission. These are offered at Federation affiliated mission boards and the trouble is there, they tend to be a little bit RNG based. Sometimes you'll get them, sometimes you can be waiting a very long time for them to turn up. But essentially what you need to do is do one of those rank missions and once you've completed that you will gain access to the next rank. Now you can continue to do missions for the uh, affiliated faction and it will contribute towards your uh, progress towards the next rank. So even though it's shown at 100%, locked at 100%, and here we can see it's currently set at 50, and we'll see how much progress we get from doing one mission uh, towards our next rank in just a moment when I hand this one in. But like I say, when that reaches 100%, it will stay locked there until you do your rank mission, but any missions you continue to do will contribute towards your next uh, rank. So when you finally do complete the uh, rank mission, you can come here and have a look and you'll find that you will already have progressed towards the next rank. And if you've done enough missions, you may already find that you already completed 100% towards the next rank. You don't need to do too many missions for, uh, for rank levels at the early levels, but as you get up, it can be a serious grind and take a serious amount of time, especially if you want to unlock the top tier ships, such as the uh, Federal Corvette. Federal Corvettes, obviously, a significant purchase as well, but just having the money isn't enough. The only ship you can purchase, the only large ship that you can purchase without a rank is the Anaconda. And it's perhaps one of the reasons that a lot of people actually do fly that. So let's have a look here. What station do we have to go at to deliver whatever it is we've got to deliver? Probably quite a way away by the looks of it. Trust me to pick one that's a significant distance away. I can't actually see where it was there from the nav panel. 
Oh, it's a planetary one. Okay then, so we're going to land there and we'll pick up from there in just a moment. So we're nearly here at Brandon Stein installation and just asking for docking permission and we should be able to land over there to the right. So we'll see when I land just how much uh, how much percentage this gives me towards my next rank. So this is essentially how you increase your rank with a superpower. It's very much the same as how you increase your reputation, in fact, with any other faction. Now I've been asked a number of times, quite a few in fact, about uh, how the background simulation works. The background simulation is what affects system states, whether the system's in a state of war, whether it's in a state of outbreak, and all the rest of all those sort of things. Now that is a very, very big subject and would require a huge uh, video to look at I've ever shot. Too busy talking. It would require a very, very large video to go through and it would take quite a lot of uh, or a lot of details to actually cover. So if it's something you're interested in seeing, then do let me know. It's not something I want to go into unless there's a good number of people that are actually interested in hearing about it because it's a very in-depth subject. A warning, Commander. Civil war is plaguing this system. You may want to be careful who you pledge your allegiance to. And there you go. That was a nice, interesting comment. That just happened to be in context with what I was actually talking about. It's actually one of the first times I've heard a comment like that. So this system is in a state of civil war, so that's something that we've been advised there we have to actually watch out for. How does that affect us in terms of gameplay? Well, that's something I'm actually talking about here, whether or not you'd like me to go into that in another video. And you can see there the faction state is actually says war, the system influence there. We've got a little bit of progress and my reputation at the moment here is neutral. So again, yeah, let me know if that's something you'd like me to talk about. And in fact, we can see system state and all the rest of it on the galaxy map. And we'll have a brief look at this just to see uh, your your interest levels in that. So we're going to hand in the boom time delivery mission here. We was on 50% before we handed that mission in. We'll also see a bit of progress towards our faction reputation there. We can see... Uh, the faction reputation is still neutral, but it has increased a little bit. And that's because I didn't do many missions with the Democrats of LTT uh, 4961 there. And we can see I've also gained a little bit of progress with my reputation with the superpower. But that's something completely separate for my overall rank. Influence there and the effect. That's something that I was talking about with regards to the uh, background, background simulation. Says potentially going towards a security lockdown. So over here, we can see my rank is now 53%. So what we're seeing there is that every time we do a mission, it will contribute 3% towards our next rank. And that that amount will uh, be less for the next rank up. Every time you get a higher rank, you actually have to do more missions to get towards the next rank. So very briefly then, we'll have a look here and have a quick look at various system states. Something separate to the uh, mission system, well it's tied into the mission system, but something different to the uh, rank requirements that I was actually talking about there. So if we go over to the map here, we're currently filtered by star class, but we can filter it by state. And there you can see all the different states that are available to various systems, retreat, war, lockdown, civil unrest, and so on. And all these will have a different impact upon the missions that are available within those particular systems. So like I say, if that's something you'd like to hear more on, then do let me know in the comments section. But that, I think, just about covers how to increase your rank. You know now what sorts of ships you can get, and you know now... Uh, what how to get the sole permit again you need to get to petty officer which is the fourth rank so a little bit of work to get there but nothing too significant that you shouldn't be able to overcome in a relatively short amount of time quite a short video then today i'll be back soon with some more videos as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys and girls next time